بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی کارڈلی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دس نیو لیکچر سو ایز یو نو دیٹ ان دا پریویس چیپٹر وی اسٹارٹیڈ دا کلاسیفیکیشن آف اینیملس سو ان دس لیکچر اینڈ ان کمنگ فیو لیکچرس وی ول اسٹڈی کلاسیفیکیشن آف اینیملس سو ایز وی اسٹڈی دیٹ اینیملس can be classified on several basis and the first classification of animals which we have studied that was on the basis of vertebral column or backbone. Now we will study in this video or in this lecture the classification, the second classification, the classification of animals on the basis of cellular composition of their body, right? On the basis of cellular composition of their body okay, whether their bodies are made up of many cells or one cell or what is the composition of what is the cellular composition of their body so on the basis of cellular composition of their body the animals are classified into three groups the sub kingdom protozoa the sub kingdom Perazoa and the subkingdom Metazoa. The subkingdom Protozoa, as we have studied earlier in detail, that the Protozoa, the subkingdom Protozoa includes single-celled or unicellular animals. They have single-celled body or unicellular body, right? So the Protozoa, these animals have a single celled body and their single cell performs all the vital functions of life performs all the vital functions of life digestion excretion reproduction etc examples of protozoa are single celled are unicellular animals are amoeba paramecium etc but as you earlier studied that this subkingdom protozoa which includes the single celled or unicellular animals is now placed or included in kingdom protesta and we now don't study the protozoa in kingdom animalia right the second group or subkingdom is subkingdom perazoa which are the pseudometazoans right it includes the simplest multicellular animals and the subkingdom metazoa are eumetazoans the true multicellular animals so now in kingdom animalia we now study the perazoa the simplest multicellular animals and metazoa the true multicellular animals so the second subkingdom after protozoa which are now included in kingdom protesta they are also known as animal like protest the second group are second subkingdom is sub kingdom perazoa para means like zoa means animals these are animal like perazoa means animal like right the perazoa includes the simplest multicellular animals means they are multicellular animals but they are simplest multicellular animals what does it mean it means that they are just collection of cells they are made up of many cells they are multicellular but they are simplest which means that that is they are not they are just a collection of cells and their cells are not differentiated into tissues and organs or in other words they lack tissues and organs so they are the simplest multicellular animals and they are just a collection of cells which lack tissues and organs their cells are not organized into tissues and organs right they are sponges and they are also called pseudometazoans means not truly multicellular because their cells are not organized or differentiated into tissues and organs the only the perazoa includes only one pylum the only one pylum included in subkingdom perazoa is pylum porifera are also known as sponges so the subkingdom perazoa includes simplest multicellular animals they are just collection of cells that is not 
differentiated into tissues and organs. They are sponges and are also called pseudometazones, means not true multicellular animals. And they are only one phylum included in subkingdom Perazoa is phylum Porifera or sponges, right? The third group is Metazoa or Eumetazoa. Eumetazoa means true multicellular animals. Meta means multi, zone means animals. Multicellular animals are called metazones. Why they are called true multicellular animals? Because their cells are arranged into tissues, organs and organ systems. While in Perazoa, you studied that they are just collection of cells which are not differentiated into tissues and organs, which are not arranged into tissues and organs. For example, animals of all pila, animals of all pilums except Pylum porifera, that is from cylindrata, that is from pylum cylindrata to pylum chordata, are eumetazones, are true multicellular animals. Sirp ek pylum porifera, jisko sponges bhi kehte hai, wo pseudometazones hai, wo subkingdom perazoa mein aata hai, baki rest of the animals, jitne bhi animals ke pylums hai, groups hai, Pylum cylindrata se lekar pylum cordata tak sab ke sab kya hai? Metazones hai ya eumetazones hai. True multicellular animals hai because their cells are arranged into tissues, organs and organ systems. We studied the classification of animals on the basis of cellular composition of their body. Humne animals ki classification padi unke cellular composition of their body ke inki body एक सिल सी बनी है और या मेनी सिल सी बनी है सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सिल्वर कंपोजिशन ऑफ देयर बॉडी एनिमल्स आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री ग्रुप्स सब किंगडम प्रोटोजोआ सब किंगडम पेराजोआ सब किंगडम मेटाजोआ बट यू नो दैट द प्रोटोजोआ व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द सिंगल सिल्ड एनिमल्स दे आर नाउ इंक्लूडेड इन किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा दे आर आल्सो नोन एज एनिमल लाइक प्रोटेस्ट दे आर नाउ not studied in kingdom animalia they are now the part of kingdom protesta and the sub kingdom perazoa and sub kingdom metazoa the perazoa they in, they include the simplest multicellular animals they are just collection of cells their cells are not arranged into tissues and organs they lack tissues and organs the only pylum included in sub kingdom perazoa is pylum porifera or sponges while the metazoa or eumetazoa, they are true multicellular animals. Their cells are arranged into tissues, organs, and organ systems. Animals of all pylums except pylum porifera that are included in metazoa are true multicellular animals. So this is the classification of animals on the basis of cellular composition of their body, right? In the first, we studied the classification of animals on the basis of vertebral column. Now we studied the classification of animals on the basis of cellular composition of their body into three groups, the protozoa, parazoa, and metazoa. But we now only study parazoa and metazoa in kingdom animalia. Protozoa is now the part of kingdom protesta. Now again, if you look into this diagram, the kingdom animalia is divided traditionally into Unicellular animals and multicellular animals. The unicellular animals are called protozoa, but the protozoa is now the part of kingdom protesta. So, therefore, we now only study the multicellular or metazones in kingdom animalia. Right? This is what we study in kingdom animalia. This metazones or multicellular animals are further divided into perazoa, subkingdom perazoa and sub-kingdom metazoa or eumetazoa. The perazoa, these are, they include the simplest multicellular animals. They are just collection of cells which are not arranged into tissues and, or and organs. And the only pylum included in sub-kingdom perazoa or pseudometazones is pylum porifera or sponges, right? While the eumetazones, they are the two multicellular animals their cells are arranged into tissues, organs, and organ systems. So the rest of all the phylums, the, that is from pylum cylindrata to pylum chordata, are included in metazones. 
are eumetazoans, the true multicellular animals, and then they are further divided into various groups, which we, which we will study later on. So this is the classification of animals on the basis of cellular composition. Thank you.